In this video, we'll take a look at MIDI step recording. Step recording basically allows us to play MIDI notes in one at a time in no specific speed or tempo. Instead of having to keep up with our click track or use the paint tool to manually draw notes in one by one, with step recording, we determine the rhythmic value we want our data to be recorded at and press keys on our MIDI controller to enter notes and or chords. Let's look at an example. In this project, I have Berlin strings pulled up by Orchestral Tools, probably my favorite all-around orchestral sample set. Step recording is especially useful for programming really fast, hard-to-play phrases, since we only have to choose the notes we want and play them at any speed. I have an empty instrument track here with Berlin strings inserted via contact. I'll use the paint tool to draw an empty MIDI region so we can see how step recording works. Opening the MIDI editor, you'll see the step record button between the macros and action buttons. Clicking this opens our step record controls. By default, enable and follow quantize are selected. In order to enter step record mode, enable has to be on so that the notes we play will be recorded into the MIDI track. As you can see, if this is turned off and we play some notes, we hear them of course, but nothing is recorded into the MIDI editor. Turning this on and playing a few notes, you see they are placed in the MIDI editor and as 1 16th notes. That's because follow Q is turned on and our quantized value is set to 1 16th. Notice if I change the quantized value to quarter notes, then every note I play will be recorded as quarter notes. We can also select our quantized value using the notes available here and switch between straight, triplet, quintole, septole, and dotted notes. If we want to have a rest between a note, or several rests, clicking the rest button will insert a rest. And this will also follow our quantized value since we have follow Q checked. The back button moves us back one step at a time, so we can record stacked notes if we didn't do that at the outset. Let's have a look at step recording in action. So now let's hear that played back at the tempo of our project. And if we want to change our note length at any time during the step record process, we can just change our quantized value to do that, so every note doesn't have to stay at 16th notes or any predetermined quantized value. As you can see, it's really easy to create complex, fast passages with step record and take our time to chart or figure out the notes we want to follow next without having to worry about playing them accurately or going back to quantize everything and adjust note lengths after the fact. And once we have something programmed in that we like, we can select any or all of the notes and apply some humanize in order to make things feel less programmed and more realistic. And step recording is just as easy to use to do fast drum passages such as kick drum or hi-hat patterns as well, so feel free to experiment with step recording on your projects to see how it can enhance your own workflow.